Pearson from Rye with regard to spending? Tom Pearson, could you go over here? Tom's over here. I think the root of a lot of these problems is the total overspending in this country and the fact that the president. States doesn't seem to really care. The president doesn't care. He went out campaigning. He doesn't give a damn about reducing spending. My question is, how can you force him to come to the table and do something about the spending, not in 2012, but right now? somebody in the room that you agree with, you want to cheer for him, please go ahead. I, I, I'm, I'm all for that. But we're also taking time out of our personal lives to come. Okay, let me let me finish. Let me finish my statement. If if we could refrain from booing people and and may I finish? No. Okay. without having a depression, 
but also being responsible fiscally to taxpayers. And I think that ought to be our goal, is how do we get those numbers back into balance? I think most people live their life that way. I think most businesses run their businesses that way. We as taxpayers of our local communities require and demand that our municipalities govern in that fashion. So let's have a productive conversation about how we can get that done. Now, I happen to believe that we can find efficiencies immediately. I happen to also believe that all of us in Washington need to lead on this, on this subject. And we all need to present ideas on this subject. And I believe that it is, it is so immediate, the need is so immediate, that if we don't, if we don't do this, we're going to be in far worse shape and we're going to have far less flexibility and choice about our futures. I happen to be listening uh, the other day to, to watching MSNBC and Barney Frank was on. And I was, I, was, I was interested in listening to what he had to say. Uh, he was being interviewed and he made three points. I think most people here know who Barney Frank is, right? Uh, Congressman from Massachusetts. Most of us know where his politics are. He said three things that, that struck a chord with me. He said we ought to get out of NATO. He said we ought to move to a premium support plan for Medicare. And he talked about uh, reducing taxes in this country. Now, if I can stand in New Hampshire and say those things, if Barney Frank can stand in Massachusetts and say those things, I think there's hope for this country to move forward and find common ground. And I also think we have a responsibility to do it in a constructive, positive, engaging way. And that's why I want to continue to hold town hall meetings and listen to what people have to say and take the ideas that you have and try to formulate good public policy around those ideas. And I hope that uh, the end solution is progress for the country, results for the country, and the freedoms and economic freedoms that we've all enjoyed, we preserve those for our kids and our grandkids. Next. Uh